Hello everyone and welcome back, Josh Hoke here. We ordered a scrawler box like almost two months ago and I just got it the other day and I'm not gonna say I'm disappointed. We are going to give them the benefit of the doubt but this was what was showed when I purchased it and we had an issue, I had to email them, see where it was and they said, okay, I'll be on the way and mind you, it comes from the UK, I'm in America, I get that, whatever. But this is what I received on my porch. The skinny little box. Don't judge by a small package, but I wasn't expecting the small little box after waiting two months for my box to show up. Not only was it late, but I get that. It's across seas. They tried to charge me for another box before I even got this box. So I was a little irritated. I already canceled it. <laughs> Just my patience. We are probably only gonna have one scroller box, but I will judge it with, besides that. So if you're in America, Scrawler takes a while to get to you because it's made in the UK. Keep that in mind if you <laughs> if you want to get this box. With all that to the side, let's open this box. Okay. -da -da. So right away we have a few things in here. It looks like we have something wrapped neatly with their sticker. Ooh. Okay, so I think this is a white gel pen. We have a sticker. I always appreciate stickers. Let's see, we have Gold Dazzle. World's glitteriest plant-based glitter. So it's for a plant, I guess. That's weird. Four Pit Artist Pins Black. So we have more illustrators. I always use these, so this is great. We have a Viking 4B pencil, so a soft lead pencil. And we have Stick It, sticky glue pen. So we have a glue pen, so I'm guessing that's for the powder. And we have a chocolate coin, because we're a pirate. <laughs> and looks like a small sketchbook of some sort. Create more and then create more. So this was part of what was featured. Rob Draper, Rob Draper is an artist and designer right, and based on this on the screen so you guys can read it if you want to read it. Just pause it. And then it looks like they gave us some brown paper, which there's two pieces and that's super cool. That will look good with the black and the white ink. So this is what we got. Let's see what we can do with this. All right, so our list here says that we have Faber-Castell Pit Artist pins. We've gone over these many times. The great thing about these pins is that once you get them down, you can go over with watercolors and different things like that, or inks that are very wet, and it won't smudge them, it won't do anything weird. That's why I love these. And I'm never disappointed with a gel pin. This is a Uniball Signo Broad Gel Roller Ball Pin. Enjoy a delightfully smooth and bold drawing experience with these Uniball Signo Broad Gel Pens. This white pen is highly opaque and shows up well on both light and dark papers. The archival quality ink is resistant to water and fading, so that's a plus because a lot of these pens seem to smudge with water and moisture, so that's a plus. And of course we have our custom Scrawler Box Viking pencil, so this is one of their brands, I guess. Yep, Scrawler Box Viking. So this is custom for Scrawler. Viking has been producing high quality graphite pencils in Denmark for over a hundred years. <laughs> and we have collaborated with them to produce a custom Scrawler box pencil, especially for this box. It has a stunning gold dipped lacquer to match the sparkly theme of this box and the smooth versatile graphite core suitable for a wide variety of art applicants. Then we have our dime bag of glitter. This Culture Hustle Gold Dazzle, five grams, very specific. A plant-based super sparkly glitter like plastic-based glitters are evil and helping to destroy our planet. That is so true. Just for some sparkle. When these plants, plant-based eco glitters meet microbes in soil, fresh water, or the ocean, they break down to rejoin nature safely. They will, however, last forever in your artwork. So that's a plus. Just don't get your artwork wet, obviously. And it looks like we are doing some word art. So we do have our pin for our glitter to lay it down. Stick it glue pin. The 
stick it all. And of course we got our little packet and our little papers. So we have two craft papers, they said that these were. They're almost like cardboard. They're very thick, which I appreciate that. So I think today we are gonna use one of these just because this, it looks a lot like this. So I think this would add a lot more personality to the theme. Cause even theirs has glitter. It's a print, but it has glitter. So this is a lot, honestly. I was a little bitter when I first started opening this box just because of the weight. But as I can see now, I only paid 15 euro for this box, which I think it came out to like $20 American. And then shipping was like eight bucks. So it was like $28 for this box. While the other boxes I had were like $35. I did get a little bang for my buck. Be a little more patient than I am, or if you live in the UK, I do recommend this box highly. So let's go ahead and make something with this. A phrase or something. I have a pirate coin, maybe something piratey. Yar har, yar har. Yo ho, skivvy, me timbers, har. So yeah, I have glitter everywhere. I don't know when I thought this would be a great idea, but I'm pretty sure it's in my drink. And on my phone, if you're seeing glitter in the lens, it's because glitter is everywhere. We got a cool piece and I put it in one little place. So here is what I did with our lovely box today. I actually really enjoyed this. This reminds me of drawing in like my sketchbooks and things as a kid because when I first learned ink, Cross hatching and stippling and all of that stuff was the only thing I really learned. And then I was very new to the white pens back then. So this is very almost childlike just because I'm using glitter and I'm doing a lot of that kind of stuff and doing like made up letters and things that I would do as a kid. But I stuck with my pirate theme. So not all treasure is gold. The original saying is not all treasure is silver and gold but that was too many words for what I wanted to accomplish. So I think this worked. I had the Kraken tentacles with a little heart up here because I guess it adds more to my message that love is a treasure too, loved ones. I don't know. I could care less about the size of the box or how it looks, but what we got inside, everything worked well. I have another craft paper so I can do another one of these. And overall, I'm super satisfied with this box. I will say that I probably won't order it again just because the time restraint, I can get similar things with the other boxes. And as great as this box was, I don't wanna wait the extra 15 days or whatever after everyone else gets there. But if you're patient and you enjoy this, this was actually a little cheaper than the ones that I got like Sketchbox or palette full packs. And I have heard from other artists some negative things about pricing and things where they felt like they didn't get their bang for their buck. But this box, this month I got definitely my bang for my buck. And I am ever so pleased. If you're enjoying this content, be sure to like and subscribe down below. I have plenty of unboxing art videos and other art challenges. But until next time guys, we'll see you later.